All right, guys, it's late November now, and guess what? You can tell by looking behind me, the sun's not quite as bright. It's time to go throw some reaction baits, throw a buzz bait, flip a big jig around. We've got a little river not too far from here that should have a lot of current on it. I just checked the generation schedule. Come with some current rolling today. We'll go over there. Me and Miss Hunter catch a couple fish. So come on, let's go over there. Gotta throw a hoodie on because it's a little chilly out here. Go over there and catch a couple bass or two. So let's go. All right, that's where she should be laying. Dang, he was in there too. I had a bite in there too. <laughs> well, now I'm ready. Yeah. Well, I have a giant hooked right now on the eviction, tangled up in a tree. <laughs> I got a chesty on too, so we're gonna try to get over there. It's a good one. Oh, all right. All right. Yeah, I, I'm in Alabama now. So, all right, sounds good. Let's see. I thought he was bigger than that, didn't you? It's a good one. Tell me, tell me. Right there, eviction G, corner of the mouth. So, what y'all just heard me talking to was the owner of the this jig right here, the guy that designed this one. So obviously I designed the ace, but he designed this one. Then there's one close to three pounds, two and three quarters on his jig. So there you go. You get some pictures, Hunter? Built like a square. How about that? He hit it while I was running it in, didn't he? <laughs> what you think? You wanted that to happen to you? <laughs> that like a Jimmy trying to get him in here? Nice one. Let's get up in there. So I'll tell y'all a little bit about what I'm doing right here. I've got a 5 8 ounce eviction jig from Untamed Tackle on. This thing has a really big hook in it. It's got like a 5 volt hook in it. It's actually got a trailer on there that's a little bit smaller than you would think, so it doesn't catch a lot of wind, uh, not wind resistance, water resistance. And what that does is, oh, I had one on there, you let it go. What that does is it lets it fall through the cover a little bit more efficiently, especially in this current. A big trailer that flaps too much, you just gotta fight with it so much to get it go through that, that, uh, cover or else you got to move up to like a one ounce jig or something like that so i just got a regular i mean it's a big jig five eighth ounce is a big jig but it's got a small little trailer on there so it falls through good and pitching around in some of these treetops and trash mats and whatever hopefully catches a big in here in a minute but if not maybe we just set the hook a few more times maybe get miss hunter a fish or two of her own so that's the the goal from now Think you want you think you can practice and get better at it? You want it? 
You think you're the guy who? Dude, I'm talking about choke dit fan. Let everybody know that Kyle, I will put the clip in there <laughs> of Kyle saying, you just need to put that down because you're probably not just going to catch any fish out <laughs> That is pretty rude. Everybody on YouTube, please tell Kyle he's very rude. Very, very rude for sure. I could have made that stupid cast. I just want you to know for future reference, I could have made that cast. I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> it was over that tree, Kyle. It wasn't even by no bank. So I could have done that one. I believe you're right, probably. How far are we up flipping now? So what, you own the flips now? You're good to eat this thing. You want it? One in there, ain't there? Don't hit me in the freaking back. God, dog it, dude. Almost dropped my glasses in the water. Caught me a nice little. We'll catch you one. All right, so today we've been fishing out here on this little river. We've caught some fish, we caught some nice ones. Caught one close to three pounds on the eviction jig. Caught probably a solid three pounder on the buzz bait. Had a few more buzz bait bites, caught a couple on it and caught some more on the jig. So hasn't been bad. We only had three or four hours really today that we, that we, we could even get out here and fish. So we got out here and would have caught us a whole dang limit of fish in three hours, but we ain't done yet. We got about 30 more minutes. Hopefully catch another couple big ones, some big spotted bass over here too. So I really wouldn't mind catching like a three pound spot. 